And our greatest powers belongs to you. I'm the voice of your ancestors. Never try to run. What do you want from me? Get back to where you fell. And pick those two things you have seen. And get strength, peace, and love that you shall never be defeated in their names. It works best when they are all together. Never ever let them land into the wrong hands. Got it. 
exactly his place. Sent me to buy razor blade. What for? Shaving air. Who's air? My air. Who will do it for you? My friend Kathy. Where did she learn it from? She learned from home school. Can she do it well without any pain? Yes, she used to shave my hair without any pain. Is she an expert really? <laughs> Stop. Why are you asking me like a policeman? Uh, it is fine. So maybe let's play that in the evening. Uh, Will you be there? Yes. Carry some meat. Okay. shook parts of northern Uganda, destroying property worth millions of shillings and injuring about 100 other people. The incident happened at about 11 a.m. this morning at Kalavinia village. And our reporter James Okello is standing by to bring us live pictures from one of the affected villages. James, what is going on in Kalavinia village? Thank you so much, Stephanie and viewer. The mood here in Kalawinya village is rather somber, with a whole lot of people weeping over land, lost property, for instance, this elder woman here has just lost a cassava garden. A cassava garden was all she had. Although many people may take this as a natural occurrence, Mr. Joseph Dembe, one believes to be favored by the gods of Kalawinya, says this is not ordinary. Mr. Joseph Dembe, could you please share with us what has just taken place in this area? What happened here was a terrible earthquake. You woke up well today. Then at around 11 a.m., when I came to this stream to wash my face, things started falling. The ground was shaking. People were screaming. Children were crying. I just knew there was something very wrong. Because this had never happened before. It may be a message from God. Because it is not an ordinary incident. Sincerely, look at our village. Look, look at our village. See that woman crying. Some were seriously injured. Others died at the spot. James, this is much. Our village has suffered. But I know we shall overcome. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Joseph Dembe, for speaking with us. Well, Stephanie, back to you in the studio. 
James Okello, NNTV. I am here for an emergency. What has gone astray again? I want you to move all around this village and get for me a young boy who will understand me. Consider it done, sir. Good. Very good.
Listen up. Some people join Hami to protect their country. Others join the Hami for fun. Then there are those who join Hami. fight for their interest. But some of us, the hero, we have joined the army before because we have some central point of interest, some focus. And so, we must do the same. You and I need to accomplish the focus. We need to fight together. We need to fight together. If you are ugly, try to be winsome. Fear is not a defeat. And if you are a coward, you need to get back into your mother's womb. That's why sometimes if you see birds flying up, just know the lion is after the young antelope. I am not born to cause trouble. I am born to create success. And this is my point of focus. You too should do the same. Now, fall out and get off. Do you want to tell me the previous earthquake was the beginning of everything? Your Highness, mm. that big voice, I could not figure it out. Mm. And when I went to went back to pick these shields, everything is turned out. And they want me not to let it land into the wrong hands. That's why. <coughs> My son, you don't have to be frightened anymore. That was the sign your grandfather told us about when we were still little. Just like my little son, 
what do you know about? There'll come a time that you or your children or our grandchildren in other one, anyone from our tribe, have to stand firm and protect the land from the stranger and anyone, anyone, anyone we, who will be chosen with the sign of protection and defense mechanism to, to save other people, young boy, young boy, don't deviate from Kalawinya. Follow the traditional rules and instructions. There, you will be safe. Don't deviate from Kalawinya. Protect. Are you getting my boy? Hey. Yeah, that's what I was told when I was a little boy. Besides, your mother told us the same story when she was dying of hookworm. When your little sister was three years old. Hmm. We have to use history to determine today and predict the future. Besides, there are no shortcuts to get on top of the palm tree. Conclusively, you can never seize an opportunity today without determining tomorrow. You, Dembe, my son, you must accept the honor. given to you by our gods we shall stand by you in the struggle your highness can i leave you with this as i leave with this shield no it is getting late and you cannot leave tonight. Wherever you go, you must cut along with you that shield. Son, I hope everything is okay. Mm, I just passed by to check on our chief. Oh. You're most welcome, my son. Ah, that's amazing. You are welcome there. Thank you, Lucy. What is that? What? Um, you said what? I was asking, what is that? Oh! Uh, it is. It, 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 You're welcome, my son. Thank you, Your Highness. Hmm. You almost noticed the shield. 
No, he didn't. He did not. The question also is for. Ah, there's much more quite in the house than you can drink. Hey. Hey. Okay, no. Ah, uh, I need some quite. I want to wash away what I've seen today. By being a hero, by killing innocent people and including young children. Why are you following me? Is this the kind of life you've chosen to live now? Get out of here! This business of people is all what I need! To here, we we just we just came here to have. Uh, where are you from? What? What to laugh? Never ever step here again. Get lost. Don't ever come back here again.
Yes, my lord. for whatever has happened. You wanted to kill my family as if you're not from this lab. I apologize once again. What I can tell you is that Papa has some hidden intention and whatever he has in his mind, even me personally, I don't understand. What are you talking about? How can you fail to understand what is within your system? You will never understand this. Even me, I try to understand him, but I fail to get something valid. It seems to be like you have some intention against the people of this community, which I really, really don't understand. Once again, I apologize, Your Highness. Joseph Dembe was seeing all your action. If you had not come back, we would have concluded that you only came to check whether we are at home. No, Your Highness. Why is that the moment, the moment you left, the gun shot was fired? To be honest with you, Your Highness, I was so flabbergasted when that thing happened. And it seems to me that Perhaps Papa was even hunting after me on that particular day. You see, as a soldier, you must have a clean hand. And you must practice patriotism to protect your community at the highest level. And that is what makes you a soldier. We have a place of wonders along the shores of river, which is the demarcation between Watum land in our land. I need to take you there and show you the most valued futures in that land. So that you people are security forces, you should protect that land very, very well. Because that is where our treasure is found. I will be so glad to have a ride with you, Your Highness. Serve me some juice, please. So you must eat, even though you're satisfied, satisfied or not. I will discipline these idiots today. 
desperate threat enough. That one will go there once again. They will kill us all. Their plan was to arrest us yesterday, I bet. What is the purpose of the paper you've been looking for yesterday? All our heritage are found in that small papers. How are we going to bring back our heritage? There's nothing found on the silver plate. All we must do is work hard for it. Let's take a hand on what talking about. See to that should be granted to many folk How about it? Those are just fake stories. And they can only be granted over my dead body. Mr. Man, I knew we'd get you here. I bet you can now figure out my design. Otherwise, pack all your things and migrate from this land. Just like your ancestors, the Bo and Kepi. With that, I can give you a favor. Alone. Shut up! Please forgive me. Ruby! What do you want from us? People? You will not understand. Never. I see no need of starting a war. My dear, that land is a so called promised land. It's full of minerals, for instance copper, coal, even time on. 
we must fight for it our generation and generation yet to be born doesn't mean we must fight we have two strategies that we must use logically what are they one we need to make them poor so that ruling them become easier secondly we have to fight them so that we reduce their numbers is that and they all? won't become a threat to us in the near is future. that all that is the rule of our court and we must implement it accordingly fine but But what? Are you getting any bit? I wasn't hurt, but it was a strain. I think we need to get some justice about this. What? How? Bows and arrows. Work miracles. Let us not risk our lives. We may end up losing all our people. But we'll be in it for nothing. Huh? Yes. But remember, hand high to hand high would make the world well blind. Let us not be, let us not be like this, Sam. We just sleep on the world without any reaction. You should start fighting for our rights. Correct, but there are proper means. This is too much. I want to do whatever it takes to teach these guys a lesson. You have to visit those two ways, ladies. I do see that we need to deploy all our soldiers near that lake so that there is no any entry by foreigners into that land. I will work on that. Okay. And make sure even a frog doesn't jump into our side. Yes, sir.
Welcome. Don't be scared, my children. You're welcome. Finally, you have made it. We shall join you to save our land. You won't do it alone. We knew about it. We shall join you to save our land. May the gods be with you wherever you go. But, but, but I've not told you what brought us here. Go. We shall follow you. Go! Go! Soldier! Yes, sir! Get down for ten! Moja, Billy, Dot, Ine, Tanu, Sita, Saba, Nani, Issa, pull me up. Yes, sir. At his. Attention. Attention. You can even sing or something. Yes, sir. Get the fuck out of my sight! You need to run to your place like a soldier! He needs more training. I'm tired of these idiots! You shouldn't get tired of him. In other words, we need to train them. Do you want to be like him? As soldiers in the higher rank, we need to train them well for a better future. Lives in your own land.
Any information? Yes, sir. Tell me. I've said all our forces and they have covered all the corners. Provision remains constant. I will do it myself. I went there. They said you should pass get the lost shield first. Oh. I learned that the seed is around the lake. How are you going to get there? Mind you, the lake shores are flooded with soldiers. How did you? When I went to pick some passion fruits from Kalon Hill, I ran for my life with bullets on my back. no need to block the shore and killing people will gain us nothing think about humanity and make the world a better place than you found it Omono, you will never understand my interest no I really disagree with that idea and I will never consent with your ideas I do what I need We have to disperse the soldiers from the boundaries so as to keep peace with our people. That can only be done under my order. Why don't you use other options to satisfy your desires other than causing chaos? That is the only option I have. Blocking the borders and killing any living thing that might come in. And what are we going to gain from that act of yours? Umola, you need to understand your limit. And remember, you are not my advisor. Who am I to you then? on the issues that is soon arising between us and the people of Atumia. You are right. If you don't have a nice one, we shall soon be in trouble. And our spirit tells us that something unworthy might happen. 
We must come in to empower you with the power that our great God, the Kalawinya, has empowered us to let you know that you are the king to lead us. We do not have much time. Mm. May God be with you. Check well along that side of the river. You may find it. We need to leave this place. We need peace, not bloodshed. We hope for the best of our people. I command you to get back to the barracks. Captain? Sir? Take the soldiers back to the barracks. Yes, sir. Soldiers, we follow orders. Back to the barracks. What is it? We are the messenger. Something bad is going to happen in this land. May the Lord give you wisdom to listen from us. You are going to miss the true leader from the reverse force if you don't take an action. In the military, whoever takes the truth shall perish. I don't understand. Tell John Rodomolo not to use La Poole Road, should use Kelak to Pajula Road. Take the soldiers back to the battle. 
We need to leave this place. Bulletin on Northern Nation TV. I'm Stephanie Akiki, and our top story today Third Division Commander General Christopher Omolo has been shot dead at Kalawinya Village this morning. According to eyewitnesses who preferred anonymity, the general was driving to work when four men riding on motorbikes rode past his car and sprayed it with bullets. Police has commenced investigations into the matter and have vowed to catch suspects very soon. General Omolo's body is lying lifeless at Pajule Hospital, awaiting post-mortem. The son of the man is gone. Soldiers! Yes, yes, sir! Now that we have all the weapons, we must fight the Kalawinya and reduce it to pieces! Let's cause more trouble as we take the place, land. Go! Yes, sir! Go! My friend, I see no need attacking the local people. But there's order from above. Not all orders must be followed, soldier. This is injustice to the highest caliber. What you can do off? I'm not going. Something's going to be wrong. How did you know it? My grandfather once told me that if you feel abnormal blinking of your left eyebrow, you know that something's wrong. Anyway, I doubt it. If you can't happen these days, don't play with nature. Is Lauren fine? Yeah, she's okay.
I see nothing good in you. You know, with the courage that you have and the hope to liberate your people, your dream has finally come true. Yes. By the way, I have good news for you and your people. The town that you've been fighting for is now a great city. I, I don't understand this. You made it as a legend that you brought city to our land. Blessings be upon you. What should you do with the captive, sir? Keep him for future use. Yes, sir! Come. Get up! Get up! 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 Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Move! I said move! Move! I said move!